Hello and welcome back to The Planet Crafter, where last time we made a new base. Well, it's in the same location as the old base, but we, we made it bigger and we've added significantly more storage capacity to this, to this base. Each material that we have now has two storage lockers dedicated to it, and I've even left some space over here for added materials as we find them. Down the centre of this new base will be space for various crafters and machines that I might need. Now then, I'm actually in a very good place right now, because I have the tier 5 backpack upgrade, which gives me an entire storage locker's worth of slots to carry stuff. If you'd seen last episode, you would know that through this cave, we found an opening to a new area that was filled with what looked like poison gas. We were fine, because we have a respiratory system with the oxygen tanks. But in there, I found a lot of sulphur as well as aluminium and other resources. Now today I'm going to start off by travelling back to that place and I'm going to strip it bare and start bringing all of the materials back here to base. First thing I'm going to do is grab a couple of these water bottles. Let's grab a couple of these beans, which means we've got food and water and an oxygen capsule for safety. Let's make our way to the new Wibbly area. Oh, they're handsome, aren't they? I'm proud of my, my drill children. My drildren. Here it is. Yes, there is a second cave just over there, which I don't know where it leads, but I need to, I need to keep an eye on that. Does this area down there? I remember seeing, yeah, wow, okay, we can actually see, we can see through to what looks like some sort of barrier. It's a strange effect, and I'm looking forward to getting to know it, but first, I need to make sure I've grabbed every piece of sulphur in this area. Yep, I've collected a decent chunk of everything. We're going to continue the search just to be absolutely sure. Let's take a look inside the cave. Loving that there's osmium here as well. Yes, so this... This leads somewhere else too. Ooh, I can see something in there. Is that osmium? Could be. Yeah, we're going to wait for that to melt. Interesting. It's got two openings. One seems to go deeper. I'm not exploring down there just yet, but when I get there, I'm going to be rich. Appears to be this cave stripped. It wasn't very big, but that's, that's fine. We don't have a problem with small on this channel. Ooh, new storage. A rocket engine. That is very good news. They're expensive, those things. No, do you know what? I'm going to run out of space. I'm going to have to build another storage locker. This is going to be four storage lockers worth. I'm starting to get mildly lost. Oh. Oh. Okay. So this sort of poisony, cloudy area has multiple entrances. And that appears to be the wreck in the desert. Yes. So, the Iridium Cave is behind this wall. That's the wreck from the desert, and then base is in that direction, but through several meters of rock. I am understanding. Okay, I'm confident that I've looked through pretty much everything here. So, let's move on and see what on earth this is. Whoa, okay. I don't want to know what's behind there. Uh, let's let's make a base and then explore this place properly. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a base down in the middle of here. Is that sand or is that? Have I just triggered something by coming here? Maybe this looks slightly different to the storms that I normally see. That wasn't triggered by me getting close to whatever that effect is. That was an amazing coincidence. I'm just dealing with it and I'm trying to see if I can spot any special resources in this area. Okay, getting close to it. It doesn't appear to hurt me. No, this does appear to just be a sandfall. Okay, and the storm's gone. So you know what? I think I think that was just coincidence. Even though the the storm disappeared just as I discovered this is f Oh, just as I discovered this is safe. 
Okay, so it is spawning super alloy here. Ooh, a chunk of it too. Loads of it, actually. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm a... <laughs> Ooh, a cave! Oh, <gasps> there's a cave in the sand. Okay, there isn't really a landmark for it, so let me... Can I build, like... Can I build a foundation outside? Okay, let's chuck a foundation there. Yep, which I can see from outside, so I know where the cave is. An eerie but interesting location. I am very intrigued. Also intrigued what's in this, uh, this is storage chest. Yep, I'll take all the rare things. I'll leave all the common things. This might seem a bit counterintuitive, but I don't really want to store items too far away from the base. If possible, I would like to have all of my items relatively close by. So I don't mind putting the work in now to get the items closer to the base so that when I eventually need them or want to ferry them all across, I don't have to make a huge trip. I'm definitely going to have to make another storage locker because I'm going to find more than I can carry. <laughs> okay. Now... I am probably going to start turning some of this, well, super alloy and sulfur and aluminium. I'm going to be turning those into machines pretty quickly. I want to start from this side and just edge my way along here. Yep, there's more super alloy, but I'm lurking for secrets. I'm, okay, I'm climbing the sandfall. Okay, there is another area up here. I did not even mean to do that. Right. Um, no. No. Too far. It's too far. It's too far all at once. It's too far all at once, and I'm going to get ahead of myself, and I'm going to regret it. What I'm not regretting is all of this super alloy. I can't believe how generous the game's being with it right now. There's so much. Oh, well, that's not many slots to go into a cave, is it? No. As if I'm complaining about the game giving me extra super alloy. <laughs> but I'm going to have to spend probably quite a lot of it in the, the near future. Okay, let's do a little bit of sorting so that I can actually keep things in roughly the same place. Doesn't have to be perfect, but it would be nicer if I'm looking for a specific material to be able to just grab it. Okay, super alloy, sulfur, sulfur, and then the rest is just dumped in the rest. That'll do for now. Let's go and grab everything we can from that cave. And then we'll go back to base and see if we can't build one of those tier 2 nuclear reactors. The effect that this has is genuinely impressive. It looks so cool. It's such a simple visual effect, but it, it's so imposing. Lots of things in this game are imposing, but in a positive way. Right, 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 right. Let us grab everything we possibly can. That's another heater, and that's another rocket engine. I think I can make a jetpack now. Interesting. So this was quite a small cave. This didn't really go anywhere, but that's fine, actually. I really don't mind that, because that gave us our second rocket engine, and that is going to be amazing. If I can, oh, if I can jetpack around the place, I'm going to leave this house there, because I suspect I'm probably coming back at some point. This red glow, by the way, I'm going to leave it alone because I'm afraid of it, uh, but I'm not going to remove that house. How am I going to explain all of this to the base? Well, this trip back and forth, I'm going to have to do it three or four times. This is going to take me some time. So, either you're about to experience several minutes of me waffling, or it's going to cut to me being done. And I couldn't possibly tell you which. And I am finally done. That took me ages. I don't know how long that actually was in terms of time, but... Good God, I got bored. But it's done. And let's have a look. 
So, super alloy, that is one storage locker and nearly half of another one. So I'm not running out of that anytime soon. Sulfur is two whole storage lockers and a bit in an overflow. I'm not running out of sulfur anytime soon either. And finally, aluminium, yep, an entire storage locker plus most of another one. These resources, they're looking pretty tasty. Before I build the nuclear reactor, I'm curious about something. So this percentage has gone up quite a bit. I've not looked down at that area with the water for, for a little while. So I want to go and have a look. The drop pod's completely gone. It's completely submerged. Look how deep that is. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, I would already class this as a lake, to be honest. Oh, yeah. If you come across this body of water in the wild, this is a lake. Look at it! It's actually a lake! There's real water on this planet! Where's the drop pod? Oh, there it is! Look how deep it's submerged! That's like... Wow! Doesn't give me oxygen anymore. Crafter still works. This is only 50% full, by the way. Not even. I hope this part doesn't flood too, because if it does, I'm going to be really, really angry. Okay, let's take a look. Nuclear reactor tier 2. Oh no, it requires explosive powder. And it takes three uranium rods. But it is more than three times as efficient as the tier 1s. And I'll get back some super alloy. Quite a lot of super alloy, actually. Explosive powder. Can I, can I make that? No. No. I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to make that. I can, however. I can very much make this. Okay, we're going to need the exoskeleton tier 2 in order to get this done. So, okay, we make the exoskeleton tier 2. We equip that for extra slots, put the other stuff that we had back on. Grab our two rocket engines. And we craft the jetpack tier 1. Okay, it's installed. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Um, right. Can I just, like... I can! I can just fly. I think there's a limit on how high I can go, but... Yeah, so it's... It's based on what's underneath me, but I can basically just hover over everything now. Can I hover over water, by any chance? Yes. So it turns out traversal in this game just got slightly easier. I'd say that was probably worth it, yes. I think it's time we experiment with the ore extractor. And I want to place it inside the iridium cave, and I want to see if it can actually generate iridium. Also, hello Rain. Let's place you down here. It looks like it is generating iridium, because that's what it's set to. I mean, if it's as simple as that, I'm going to have so many heaters. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So this is actually generating heat and pressure, too. It's taking minus 34 energy. Let's go and have a look at the old metrics. So I don't have that much power left to play with. Right. Okay, it doesn't really generate that much heat or pressure. This is mostly to get the materials. Okay, well in that case, there are two major buildings that I haven't even touched yet. The first being the launch platform. When I unlocked that, it seemed so expensive I'd never want to even contemplate using it. But now, that's actually pretty cheap. Allows craft of bio recipes. I mean, that one I can also do relatively inexpensively, so I think I might focus on those two now. I'm going to do the launch platform first. Now, assuming this fires literal rockets... And, oh, okay, it is big, yep. Right. Let's build you a wee bit outwards, shall we? So you're not directly next to the base, causing trouble. Yeah, let's put you about there. I should have seen that coming. It takes 55 energy a second, which means I need to build some more of these. Lovely. Let's go and see what you're about, rocket place. That's a big old red button. Asteroids attraction rocket. 
gives a global heat generation bonus. Heat multiplier times 10, pressure multiplier times 10, and a GPS satellite tier 1. Attracts uranium asteroids. <laughs> and this one attracts iridium. I mean, I need power. I also need heaters, but but this applies a 10 times multiplier to my heat, apparently. So we're, we're going to go for this one, because I can totally afford these. Well, we're going to go for both, but this one first. Collect all the uranium I find from the, from the asteroids. Use that to build power. Then I'll do the iridium one and use that to make heaters, which will be further boosted by the fact that my heat will be multiplied by 10. <laughs> that stuff's actually quite cheap too. Ah. Oh, that jetpack feels so good. Right, I have collected the resources I need for the uranium asteroids. That will also give me a heat multiplier, so... Oh! Oh, it's actually built a full rocket. Okay! <laughs> Do I... Oh, it's already... it's already attracted these! That went straight into the lake, that one. Oh my god, it has! It's actually dropped uranium. Oh. Amazing. Right, well, look- oh, there's loads. This is good, because I actually need uranium to make the rockets in the first place, so this means I can make more. Oh, I will take every piece of uranium that this game will give me. Yeah, strangely, there's like this big uranium core here, but I can't actually do anything with it. Can I deconstruct it? No. Okay, on to the next batch. There was definitely some that dropped in that lake. Oh, more. Okay, maybe a bit harder to spot than in the overworld, but there's definitely one down here. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's all I could find, but I don't mind if I diddly do, because look at this. 17 more uranium. That is enough for another nuclear reactor. Well, let's just make a rod immediately. And that's enough to make a couple more rockets. Oh, okay, I don't have enough iridium to make a rocket. That is a problem that may have solved itself. Let's see how effective this guy is. I mean, okay, fair enough. There were two iridium there. But the good news is that is enough to make me the rod that I need to make another rocket. This will not only multiply the pressure that we produce by 10, this will also give us more iridium. <laughs> Ooh, just outside the base. Brilliant. Oh, more uranium. Give me all of that sweet, sweet iridium. Well, it might not be free, but we do have a new source of iridium and uranium. There's a decent chunk of it, too. By the way... Oh, that has... that has... definitely... that's worked! I thought that may have been like a temporary buff, but that's genuinely just multiplied my heat generation and pressure by 10. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's a really good thing, by the way. That's a really good thing. That TI index is screaming up now. Let's go and pick up the rest. Oh, there's loads. Flower spreader? 
Oh, is that like a new tier of grass spreader? Is that going to increase my oxygen too? <laughs> I'll try it. <laughs> Place a seed in this to grow flowers on a small area outside. Does that mean I can place my 600% seed in there by any chance? Oh, this requires fertilizer. I would imagine fertilizer will be grown in the bio lab, which allows the craft of bio recipes. That seems like a fertilizer type thing. To be honest, that's probably where I make explosive powder too, isn't it? Yep. I'm going to make another nuclear reactor just so I've got the power to do this. But let's have a look-see. Oh, oh, wow, okay. I haven't even made tier one of that yet. That produces good oxygen too and creates a lot of plants. Needs fertilizer, yeah. So I need to do the bio lab. The only other problem is that I noticed we've reached over five of this unit. I don't know what this would be. And five is where some of the extra ice starts melting in those caves. So unfortunately, although it would be really handy to carry on crafting recipes, I am a very curious man by nature. And I have the ability to find out what's beyond those caves. And I have to look. Even if I don't explore right now, I have to look. I always have to look. So we're going to make our way to the cave up there, which is remarkably quick and simple with a jetpack, I must say. Oh my god. Yes, indeed. This part of the cave that was previously covered with ice is now melting. Now, in theory, I could get over this. Yes. Okay. Wait. Oh, that's just a shortcut to there. Right. I had a feeling that was the case, but I wasn't completely sure. The other thing, this has started melting, apparently. It doesn't appear to have melted at all. Maybe it's just melting very slowly. Is there a way for me to tell? Is the model going to change? Not sure. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. At least I know. Okay, let's make ourselves another nuclear reactor tier one. There we are. We'll put you next to the others. Okay, Biolab, I'm going to place you back here. There. Here we are. Hello, Biolab. Yes, I can create explosive powder. Ooh, and fertilizer. Okay, what else do we have? A mutagen. Use it in the DNA manipulator. No idea what that means. Fertilizer tier two, which requires methane. <laughs> okay. Ah, right. So I need to grow food for all of this stuff, don't I? We're just going to do the explosive powder for now. I have loads of sulfur and I have loads of iridium. So all of that is absolutely fine. And I can now build the biodome tier 2. Ooh, wow, look at that. It creates 1,450 oxygen per second. Okay, let's craft a bunch of these. I need water, super alloy, and uranium rod. That shouldn't be an issue because I should be able to just take down a few of the ones that are already there. This will kill power. But I can replace it with a tier two. Oh yes. And I just restore power again by placing another tier two. Let's go and see what the power situation's like now. Oh yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> Two of them are producing 663 kilowatts per hour. Okay, I need two bacteria sample and two fertilizer, which means I need algae, which means I need to place you, which means I need an eggplant. If that sounded chaotic, it's because it was. Right, let's get you down onto the water surface, which is by the way, looking more and more lake-like every time I look at it. Cool, so I can dot you there. That might not be a clever idea. Let's place you a bit further in. Oh yeah, would you look at that? There's actually, there's actually plants growing on the surface of this water. There is genuine plant matter 
in my world that hasn't come from an ugly ass grass spreader. I am so, so pleased. But you know what? We've achieved a lot today. That is amazing. I am very much looking forward to seeing where this game takes me next because it is just wonderful chaos. But that is more than enough for now, so please catch me next time while I continue down this path of biomass. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I've certainly enjoyed making it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. 24 of you. Wait. Oh, no! During my interrogation of this poor chatbot, I actually came up with an idea. What if I asked ChatGPT how I should market my video? Immediately, the stack disappeared. Oh!